Welcome back to Shelter Food and Water. Rough night last night. If you didn't watch the first video where I do the, the prep work for the quiche, you want to go back and watch that and see what I did. I'm going to be making a salmon quiche today. Pretty simple application and uh, let's put this together now. I'm preheating the oven 350 degrees. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is um, get my two eggs. Three eggs and lightly beat them. Then add two cups of milk. My wife made this lovely pie crust for me this morning. And I'm going to cover the bottom in a nice grated cheese. That's just my salmon. Like I said, this already has good salt, pepper, and other seasonings in it. So I'm not adding any extra to my egg. Here's my onions and last but not least my deep fried Brussels sprouts. Okay there it is. It's pretty stuffed. Typically you don't want to put more than a cup of ingredients in here so as the egg will be able to fit. Let's see how I did. Let's do this correctly so you can see me just pour it in here. Don't worry so much about the placement of your vegetables or your meats because they're going to float around and they're going to do or go wherever they want to go. Looks like a perfect amount. I'm going to place it on a sheet pan because I have a tendency to get a little messy. It's starting to firm up, so I'm going to place the tomatoes up on top. Also have this asparagus spears I'm putting on there. Well, there it is, my beautiful salmon quiche. It took a little longer to cook, about an hour, hour and five minutes. I believe the the oil from the Brussels sprouts kind of affected the way it cooked and set up, but it looks delicious. I'm going to let it rest. There's my beautiful piece of salmon quiche. I prefer it served cold and with a cold beer. So I went for a mountain bike ride, let it chill out, and now I'm going to enjoy a little quiche and salad. That is delicious. Not only can real men make quiche, they eat it too. Thanks for watching. Shelter food and beer. That's pretty good too.